right out of construction. This is a passenger terminal, so normally the ships come here and people go out and they don't, they don't need any transport. But you, you need a shuttle bus and the shuttle bus goes from the boat here. They stop here and they take people from here back to the boat every 10 minutes. Just in case you decide to stay in the town after, you have this possibility of going back to the boat by yourself. We, uh, once the French decided to create this penal colony here, they shipped the prisoners from overcrowded jails in France, and after six months, they, they were here. It took six months around the Cup of Good Hope, so that was a long journey. Those who survived this uh, were immediately employed to build this city. That pier was all still sea. We're going up to the hill, you see, the, we're going a little bit up the hill. And the water was coming up to this very hill out there. So this all was reclaimed from the sea. And the streets were put in grid. The housing, which is here now, comes from 1970, but the first buildings, the first, the first housing, houses and shops were small, wooden, one-store buildings with their characteristic window work, so, char so uh, characteristic for the French arch colonial architecture. Not many of these buildings left in Numea, not definitely in city center, but I'm going to point point out few of them to you on our way. So this uh, cement three-store building replaced this old colonial architecture. This town, this here is, we call it Chinatown, but we should really call it Indochina uh, because uh, the French uh, colonial possession in Asia. Many people here come from Vietnam. Just uh, talking about the people, have a look around. This is a really melting spot here when it comes to people. You see Melanesian people, this lady here in this long dresses. This, they are the hosts here. They came, they came here about 2,000 years before Jesus Christ was born. 